Hi, we're Delta A, and you're watching the AU Review. Was it that a, diffi a difficult process, kind of cutting it down? At any point, were there some songs that you were really, you know, attached to that kind of didn't didn't make the uh, didn't make the cut? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, there were, you know, we got down to the end, and there were some where I was like, "That's really not gonna make it." But I'm so happy with you know what we ended up with. I think. Uh, we all are good at talking each other into things. So um, once we get down to the nitty gritty of discussing why or why not a song should make it, we sort of all ultimately draw the same conclusions. So, uh, but I think that that also just means that we're excited for the next record, which we can't even start to think about, but we already know that there are so many songs that we love that could live on in that record. So. Um, that's just kind of something to look forward to. And live, how does how do these new songs? I mean, you probably barely had a chance to, to play around with them in front of a in front of a crowd. This might be uh, might be the first time that you'll get to play a lot of these new songs live. But um, you know, so far, how have the new songs kind of been evolving in, in the live space? It's actually been really exciting because we we took a lot of the songs that are on this record. We've been playing live for a while. They started to take shape when we were touring on the back of our last record. And so they feel, some of them feel really nicely worn and, and, uh, and comfortable. Some of them we're playing for the first time and that's been really exciting. But I think the thing that's heightened all of it for us is that in our new incarnation, especially as we're playing some of the first shows in the States, we've brought on a, uh, a string player and a lighting director. And so that's really enhanced the whole show for us. Um, and uh, I think that it's just, it's lent a certain level of excitement um, and, and uh, newness to our, uh, our own experience on stage. And I think that that's, there's just a nice dynamic quality to the show now. There's some stuff that feels really, um, really well-worn and some of the stuff that feels kind of new and risky. And um, I think the show ebbs and flows with that. And does that then add to the older material as well? Does that give new life to some of the songs that you've been playing hundreds of times every year on the, on the road? Absolutely it does. We have a couple songs that sort of uh, went on the shelf for a while because we couldn't exactly figure them out live. And then after we had the time to finalize the album and also find our, find our violin player, now we're, we've been able to bring, it, bring them back into the show. And it feels really fun for us. Uh, for those songs to be able to, it feels like they finally found their, found their shoes or found their their home in our in our set. Songs finally found their shoes. They <laughs> <laughs> that's a common phrase, right? <laughs> what every, it's an, it's an American thing. Every musician aspires to. <laughs> one must one must find their shoes. <laughs> As they say. Album three. Right. There you go. Find album title done. Yeah. <laughs> Find your shoes with Delta Ray. Yeah. <laughs> instructional <laughs> videos to accompany the, the release of the record. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm sold. I'm sold. I'll take a 5% cut. Okay. <laughs> with, um, uh, with life on the road, what's the, what's the best thing and the, the hardest thing? <laughs> Ooh, what's, the, uh, what's the best? The best thing is, is playing music every night, I think, and, uh, and performing with... I mean, maybe this will be cheesy, but like five of the best musicians that I know and I've had the privilege of playing with and people that challenge me every day and sort of like, I have to be at the top of my game every day. Um, yeah. <laughs> nailed it. Um, but I also love, uh, r like on the last tour that we did, we, we you know, we're traveling around uh, America and I love running and that helps me sort of have a sense of place whenever we're, you know, whether we're in the Northeast, the Northwest, the South, it's like I, I love just sort of soaking in wherever we are and running into, you know, just turning a corner and running into a family of deer or, you know, getting scared because there's, you know, snakes, whatever. I don't know. But um, and you've I, been doing that here in Sydney, too. And I've been doing it here. I've, I've, I've like uh, every every time we've had more than a couple hours off, I've run to the opera house <laughs> and then run through like the uh, botanical gardens and just been checking out all the birds. And uh, and I and I love it. It's um, but that's that's the, the best. That's the best. And I'll leave someone else with the other part. Yeah. Or, or if they keep going I'd say the worst are uh, two things. One is the smells. 
Oh and my god, to, I'm to, really glad you pointed that out because and, that is the worst. Yeah, because you live in a van together, and and you load, you always load some, into venues like right next to their dumpsters, which yes. right. And some people run every day. Um, I won't name any names, and then they leave their running clothes in the back of the van, and That's that can rough. be a little smelly. That, that, happened, that uh, happened one time, that but I remember inter, it so inter- well. Interpersonal problems. And then and then uh, and then the other terrible part is the arguing, which. Um, which again comes. I from thought we weren't going to talk about that, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's now. Now is the time because we've released this album that, in a subtle way, airs all our dirty laundry to just go ahead and get it out in the get interviews as well. Room. Yeah. Um, no, but uh, no, it's 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 uh, you know it's just the challenge of of pe- uh, people being in really close proximity all the time. And it's like it's if being in a band feels like you got you chose to get married to like mm-hmm. five other people. Yeah, so and it's three a of lot them are of your siblings, so it's illegal yeah. and and weird, Round super, Round weird. <laughs> super weird. I'm so glad you made that comparison, Renee. <laughs> well, I you are the one who brought it uh, brought it to siblings. I just meant sort of like you know with the commitment level. Whatever. Just, uh, Let's argue about it yeah. later. Perfect. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the birth of a new song. That yeah. The, per, uh, the birth of a new song that nobody can identify with. Yeah. <laughs> Except one really weird family. Except right. Yeah. <laughs> From North Carolina. Yeah. You can say it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say Utah, but we're, anyway. We're our own biggest fans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, guys, I hope you have an amazing time here in Australia. And, Thank you um, so much. And I don't imagine this will be the last time we see you here. This will hopefully be the start of a long, long-term long relationship. Absolutely. Yeah. Next time, when it like. gets cold in the States, we'll be coming back. So <laughs> hopefully in your summer, we'll see you all again. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thanks so much.